Hey, it's Craig back with you in the sports cabin. I know it's kind of slow this time of year, but things are really picking up steam. For instance, I listened to parts of a couple of Astros exhibition games over the weekend. Hey, not even the guys working the game listen to the entire game. Without naming names, it's always interesting to me how broadcasters approach these games in the spring. They don't or won't even matter. Baseball tends to be a sport where long stories are told in between pitches. And if a player has a number higher than 77, the stories get even better. Those guys are always on the bubble and more than likely are headed for the minor league camp in another week or so. But they get in some of these spring games. How about this? That will bring up Spivis with two out and no one on for the Braves. You know, Spivis was president of the sixth grade, and he only had one day absent in a brilliant 11-year elementary career. He was the 78th player taken in the Rule 34 draft. That involves Americans who had passed the Postal Service exam. Spivis is one of, the, one of those guys you can always count on. He's good in the clubhouse. He likes to buy the fellas beer. He's only 18, so he has to buy it on the sly, but that's what the scouts like about him. He's a threat to steal, as was everyone else in his class. Ball one, just a little bit high and away. In a season that includes more pretend games than some sports have real games, baseball still rocks. I've often wished the Astros would do away with the roof at Minute Maid Park. In the event of a rain delay, we'd get even more really cool and long stories. Who wouldn't want to know how Spivis hit for the cycle in seventh grade? Well, i got to figure out what the second verse to Who Hit Nelly in the Belly with a Fungo Bat is. This is Craig Roberts on Click 2 Houston.